channel. It's Janet. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I am going to be sharing with you four crock pot recipes that you can make and now that we're going into fall and winter, especially here in southern Alberta, I thought that I would share with you four go-to crock pot meals that I like to make and all of these actually my family enjoys as well too. So um, I'm keto, but the rest of my family is not keto. So um, I try to make meals that I can kind of like take the protein out and make like a side dish, whether it's cauliflower rice or a vegetable. And then I also like to make things that like can be used for my family. So in these recipes, actually, your family will absolutely love them. It can easily be adapted for your family, whether you're adding like rice or pasta or crackers, because one of them is actually a dip recipe. So it's great for an appetizer if you are entertaining over the holidays as well too. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let me share with you some keto crock pot ideas. All right, so for tonight's slow cooker meal, I am going to be making the infamous cracked chicken. I absolutely love this recipe. I think I made it maybe long, long ago when I first started my YouTube channel. But you know what? This is even a family favorite. Everybody in my family loves it. Usually um, what I do is I will just have the cracked chicken, of course, but my family loves it with pasta. So we will see what they want to do tonight if they want pasta. Sometimes they also like having it with buns, um, like in like, uh, kind of like a pulled pork style, right? And have it in a bun. So I will see, it'll be up to them, whatever they decide, but I usually just have the cracked chicken by itself and then I will make a couple sides to go with it. So I put in four large chicken breasts and then next, what we will put in is, this recipe is so easy, you guys. Super, super easy. I love the crock pot meals because you literally have to make it and forget it. So that's why I enjoy making them because they're so, so simple. Especially when I'm busy working or I have errands to run, I can just plop it all in the slow cooker and head out the door. Then you will need a packet of the ranch style um, seasoning mix. This is the kind that I buy. Now you can make your own, feel free to do whatever you want, but this is just what I do. Uh, you guys know I always take the easy way out somewhat, <laughs> but you are just gonna put the whole packet on top of that. I'm going to take off my glove as well. I always like using a glove whenever I'm dealing with chicken, <laughs> most of the time. All right, and then we are going to need one whole package of the cream cheese. Now, normally I use Philadelphia cream cheese, but I did get this Compliments brand. So that is what I'm going to use. What I like to do is, now this isn't softened, but sometimes I will leave it out and have it softened, but I like to cut it into cubes, and then I put the cubes on top of my chicken and my ranch mixture. So that is just what I'm going to do with this. I'm just gonna tear the whole package open. There we go. And then usually what I do just in the package here, you can kind of see it off to the side, is I literally just cube it and then I dump the whole entire thing in the crock pot. So I'm just going to cube this and then we will throw it on top. it you guys how simple is that now what we will be adding to this later on is some more ingredients like some shredded cheese I like to add some um, bacon like fresh bacon cooked and chopped up and some green onions a little bit on the top but we will be doing that later on but for now we are going to put a cover on this and put it on low for seven hours
this is our crack chicken. So as you've seen, I added a cup of shredded cheddar and I also added, I would say maybe a little less than a quarter of a cup of chopped up cooked bacon to this and then I mixed it all together. I let it cook for probably about another half an hour on low and it is all done. So let's just scoop up our dish. And like I said, this is a family favorite. My whole family absolutely loves this. Um, my family either likes it with um, a little bit of pasta. I put pasta on the bottom, usually penne pasta, and then topped it with the cracked chicken and then they'll mix it all together and then I'll have like a side dish for them. Or they like it in buns, um, like a bigger kind of like um, burger bun and then put this inside, really, really good. So I'm just gonna top mine with a little bit of chives and green onion, and that is it. Makes a perfect fall meal and that you can enjoy, and your whole family will even love as well, too. All right, so for today's uh, slow cooker meal, we are actually going to make a taco casserole. It is really, really simple. I'm using just my smaller crock pot today as well. Um, but we are going to start with some taco meat. So this taco meat I actually just fried up and then I drained it and then I added one package of the taco seasoning. Feel free to use your own, but that is what I did. And then I'm just putting that mixture in the slow cooker. And then I'm going to add some diced tomatoes that I have strained. You want to make sure that you get all of the liquid out of your diced tomatoes. And then I cut up one red pepper i diced that up and then i'm going to add mushrooms now the recipe that i link below doesn't have mushrooms but i do have some mushrooms that i need to use up so i thought that i would just add them to this recipe so we are just going to add all of the vegetables to this and then we are going to give this a good stir and that is literally it it doesn't include a lot of ingredients I love slow cooker recipes because you can just literally turn it on and leave it. So what I'm going to do for this one, I prefer to cook my slow cooker recipes on low all the time. Obviously, if I'm pressed for time, I will have it on high. Four hours on low, so that is what I'm going to put it at. And then we will check back when it is done. This is the taco casserole, so I just added some sour cream on the top and some avocado and it is all ready for dinner. Super easy slow cooker meal and keto approved. All right, so for today's slow cooker recipe, I am going to be making cream of broccoli soup. So I will have the recipe linked in the description, uh, but first I am going to put the chicken broth in the slow cooker. Then I'm going to add the um, cream cheese and the butter. And then I'm going to add one cup of heavy whipping cream. And then you're gonna to wanna to stir all of this really well. And then we're gonna add in all of our broccoli. And then I am also going to add some salt and pepper. So I'm gonna use the Redmond's Real Salt. And some pepper. Just gonna give that a stir. Now it calls for um, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese right now. I don't have any Parmesan cheese, so I'm just gonna wait to add all of my cheddar cheese. Um, and then we will put this on high. I'm actually gonna put this on high and it'll be done in 80 minutes. All right, so it has been a little, like probably over an hour for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna take my 
hand blender and I like to blend it all like I don't like huge chunks of broccoli in my soup now to each their own but this is just what I prefer I prefer more of like a puree um, with a few chunks of broccoli soup but I'm gonna do that first and then we will add the shredded cheese and then cover it and then leave it for another 10-15 minutes and then it'll be all done a little bit of xanthan gum to this because I'm gonna see if this can thicken up a little bit so I'm just gonna put literally probably a quarter of a teaspoon sprinkle it on top and then I'm just going to whisk it all together and I still have this on high So I'll just wix it all together and then hopefully once um, this sits and cooks a little bit longer, it will thicken up a little bit. I like my soup thick, so that's why I decided to do that. So I'm gonna add in my shredded cheese. You will need two and a half cups of shredded cheese. Just one cup. Two cups. And a half. All right, I'm just gonna give this a little mix and then we are gonna put the lid on it for another 10, 15 minutes. All right, this is all done. So it thickened up a little bit more. I feel like if it was probably on the stove, if you really wanted to make it thicker, you would have to put it on a high heat and um, really thicken it up. But this is fine. I'm sure it'll taste just as good anyways. Oh my gosh, this looks delicious. I love cream of broccoli soup. So there you have it. This is going to be another slow cooker recipe that you and your family can enjoy. All right, for tonight's slow cooker meal, we are going to make buffalo chicken dip. So I have never made this recipe before, but um, I've heard it's really, really good. I've seen actually a few people, keto or not, making it, and it turns out to be a really hit. So I thought that I would share kind of like an appetizer recipe. So what I have here is some softened cream cheese. I am going to half this recipe. So this is eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put this in the microwave just a tad bit longer because they definitely want it soft enough so that you can like mix it. All right, that is better. It's a little bit more um, pliable. All right, so we are going to start off. You're gonna need a smaller mixing bowl to mix all your ingredients. So cream cheese, we need a quarter of a cup of ranch dressing. So I have ranch dressing right here. So a quarter of a cup. And this recipe also calls for uh, blue cheese crumbles, which I do not have. But to be honest, um, my family, like Jimmy isn't too bad, like he doesn't mind it, but Zoe does not like blue cheese at all. So I left that out. Cause like I said, all of these recipes are going to be so that your whole family can enjoy it. All right, next you are going to need a quarter of a cup of sour cream. And then we need a quarter cup of the buffalo wing sauce. So I have the red hot wing sauce. Uh, that is what I am going to be using today. So we need a quarter cup of that. I'm actually gonna just do it a little tiny little bit less because I don't like things all that spicy. So hopefully this isn't gonna be too spicy for me. And then we need uh, a half a cup of shredded cheese as well too. All right, so let's give this all a nice good mixture. Make sure everything is well combined. All right, then it says to spray your slow cooker with um, some spray oil. So that is what I'm going to do. And then I'm just going to brush it all around, just kind of on the sides and everywhere. All right, and then it says to transfer the mixture to the slow cooker, so we are going to do that. All right, we were supposed to mix the chicken. I was just gonna say, where does the chicken come into play? We were supposed to mix the chicken with this mixture, so I'm gonna do that right now. 
So it says that you can also use rotisserie chicken, but what I did is I just fried up two chicken breasts and just had them in my fry pan because it does seem to um, that you do have to like make it with cooked chicken. You can't put raw chicken in this recipe. It smells really, really good though. I, I just hope it's not too spicy. It won't be for Jimmy and Zoe because they absolutely love spice. And the good thing is, is with all these recipes that I'm making today, like I said, your whole family will enjoy all of these. Um, I just definitely wanted to try this because maybe I'll make this for like um, Christmas Eve or something. We usually have like appetizers on Christmas Eve. So thought this would be good for that. All right, there we go. The chicken is all mixed in. Then we need to put another half a cup of cheese on the top. And then we will cover it and cook on low for two to three hours, all right? That was just a little bit short of, just do a little bit more because I was a little bit short on that one. All right, there we go. That is it. Super easy once again. We are just gonna cover it and let it cook for two to three hours and then we will check back when it is all done. All right, so this has been in the slow cooker for about two and a half hours. And I would say that it's probably done. It looks done, smells absolutely amazing. So what I'm just going to do is take a little bit out of here, put it in my bowl. And then what I thought would be a really, really good side to go with this is either some keto crackers. These, these are the kinds I like, which is the Eve's brand. And I also thought that some pork rinds would go well with it as well. All right, so another good way for your family to get like an appetizer, something that your family will love as well too. And like I said, either crackers or some pork rinds on the side makes this a good meal or even a good appetizer. I absolutely love crock pot meals. They make things so much easier and definitely, definitely favorite here, especially during the fall and winter time. So I hope you enjoyed those recipes and let me know if you try them yourself or if you have made them in the past. Definitely, they are my favorites and my go-tos definitely during the fall time. So make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.